Hey guys, Dave Gardner here with Magnetic Sponsors as well as uh, many other websites. And I just want to tell you a little bit about Pretty Link Lite. It's a quick and easy Word pl uh, WordPress plugin that allows you to basically cloak or mask your affiliate links. Instead of, instead of having them look nice and ugly, kind of like this, So something like adnetwork.com backslash, uh, let's see, equals question mark, uh, let's see, slash affiliate tag equals 4537, where you wouldn't want to necessarily put that on anywhere that's readily visible. Okay, it doesn't really show much um, ownership. It just everyone knows it's a it's an affiliate link. Um, I think it looks kind of sloppy myself, but let's say for example we turn it into something like this. So all right, here we go. So magnetic sponsors.com backslash 30 day challenge. Now that's something that has a little more ring to it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to show you something here. I'm going to go to the internet. I'm going to open up. I got my, my WordPress open. I'm on my dashboard. I'm going to open up a new window. And I'm going to just control paste or control V, I should say, which is pasting that link. And we'll see what happens. It should just come up as an uh, an unknown, like a 401 site uh, from my blog or from my website. So, because I'm logged in, it actually did not. Let's see about that one second. I'll tell you what, let me log out of this one. Oh, there we go. 404 not found. All right. So you see how that wasn't found there. Web page can't be found because it doesn't exist, but I want to show you quick and easy how we can actually make that look really nice. Now, what you're going to do on the sideboard, or excuse me, sidebar, over here on the left, you have something called plugins. And what you want to do, you want to add a new plugin. And we'll just give this a little minute in case the internet's working a little slow tonight. And what this is going to do, it's basically just going to cause your affiliate links to be masked so they look more appealing. So we're going to go into search and we're going to search for pretty link light. Okay, pretty link and light L I T E. We're going to search for the plugins. And this is a free plugin. You can upgrade and there's there's a professional version of it, I, I believe, but uh, the, the free version is. is doing fine for me so I've, I've heard nothing but good things about it so what you're going to do you're going to click the install now button it's basically the first one that pops up yes I do want to install it and once we install it your life as an affiliate using junk that looks like this one up here is going to be over okay so we want to activate the plugin and if there's ever an update for it, notice this is 1.58, uh, you'll get a little mark right here. Like, for example, if you go in your dashboard and you first log in, it'll say that there are updates. And it'll just kind of remind you that way. So just kind of keep uh, an eye on that and, and update it when necessary. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to go over to the bottom. Okay, the very bottom. If I scroll all the way to the sidebar at the bottom, notice I now have an actual link for Pretty Link. And I have a whole bunch of, of tools and, and variety of information here. The one I want to really focus on is is basically add a new link. And this is one of two places where I can actually add the link. And I'll, I'll show you the other one in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to show you this. You can you can add more detail. And I'm, I'm just going to give you the basics at this point. Um, I'm going to try to keep things simple. I uh, don't want to confuse too many people here. So uh, we'll get the scroll and we'll be on the we'll be on the right path. Assuming my internet works. Feels like it's doing overtime here. I can hear the uh, the fan running on my uh, laptop. So, anyways, okay. So you got pretty link. You got this little thing with a star. 
a whole bunch of different stuff. So what you're going to do, you're going to type in the target URL. Okay, and what I want to do, I want to actually grab that. So I'm going to go grab a, notice I'm going to do the 30 day challenge. I'm going to do an affiliate link for a, a contest I'm in right now. It's a 30 day challenge. It's Russell Brunson and it's for his new dot com uh, secrets X. And basically I want to plug that out a little bit here. We're going to log into our back office here. And I'm going to get my links. So I'm going to get my squeeze page, squeeze page link. So I'm going to copy that. And for example, we're going to plug that in. Notice it's HTTP backslash, excuse me, semicolon backslash backslash x dot dot com secrets dot com backslash x backslash bear sales which is my uh, clickbank affiliate link and what we can do here's basically the link notice there is a blog thrown in there um, just based on how I have mine uh, my blog set up my blog isn't just right off the magnetic sponsors it's you can type magnetic sponsors dot com backslash blog or blog dot magnetic sponsors dot com either one works um, if you just have your regular domain going uh, for example it could be just magneticsponsors.com backslash uh, you know then the site you know if this is your case so uh, we're gonna do 30 day challenge and now it's gonna look more appealing just make sure you got it the spelling you want and you can do any spelling you want you can put anything there and then there's a lot more advanced stuff and again I'm not gonna get into that details I really haven't used it as much um, I'm sure I probably should um, you know to get more uh, advanced stuff to get more tracking going on you know, if you just take a look there you know, enable double replacements, URL replacements, rotations. Okay, really, if you want to do a split test, that'd be a great idea uh, to get going. And again, you would you probably need to upgrade there. So uh, I'm not, I don't have any affiliation with them. Again, it's a free plugin. Uh, we're just going to kind of keep it simple here. So again, we're going to want something that's pretty uh, standard, so that when people see it on the website, everything's kind of linked back to the website, especially when you have it on your blog, or if you're writing from your blog, if you're getting it from the newsletter. So you're going to click Create down at the bottom. And there we go. So right now it is uh, over here, my link. I'm going to copy it and we're going to come back in just a second. We're going to see that there's zero hits on it. So I'm going to open up a new window again. I'm going to copy and paste it in there. Okay, I just copied it previously. I'm going to paste it. So there it is blog.magneticsponsors.com backslash 30 day challenge. And when we hit our button, I should go to the squeeze page for dot com secrets. And there we go. All right, so there's Russell Brunson. So I could just sign in here. And I'm on my way, okay? It's a, it's a $1 30 day challenge. The $1 goes to a donation helping, uh, I believe, the Make a Wish Foundation and World Aid Teacher or World Teacher Aid. And you basically have 30 days of training from Russell, so you should check that out. So check the link for that too. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go and refresh this. Oops, apologize for that loud noise. And what we should see when we come back, assuming we come back to this page excuse me, <laughs> comes back to this page, I uh, notice it's already taken. So we're going to do, we want to get our pretty links. So if we just go over here to the sidebar, you can always check your old pretty links. And you're going to be able to find that what was hit once and one was unique. Now if I hit it again, uh, I would have two hits but only one unique just because um, it's coming from the same UP, uh, IP address, sorry, from the same website and, and my computer. So the other place where you can fill it in, when you first log into your uh, WordPress uh, dashboard and you're getting this notice there it is right there so you don't really even have to uh, go down too far you can just enter the first one so again there's the same thing I can do a different one right here and I'll show you how that works this is my, one of the other things I'm involved in is GVO that's where I do all my uh, web hosting that's where I have all my autoresponders hooked up here this year looking at the dashboard here so if I have a uh, link to the back office here to check out GBO, which actually is linked to the dot com secrets. They're, they're correlated to there. And again, check out some of my other uh, bits of information. You'll find that out. So if I want to promote that, okay, I could just do GBO. Uh, I, don't know, I guess I'll call it the GBO package. Okay, just because again, it, it, it is a complete marketing package. If I click on that, Oh, do not have permission, uh, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes that comes up. I don't know why. When I refresh, again, sorry about that loud noise. 
I'm going to turn that external volume down a little bit. Hopefully that won't uh, hurt us too much there, at least on my voice. And let's see if that registered. I'm just going to check this quick. Sometimes it goes through and, and you get that message and it doesn't make sense. All right, it didn't go through, but I'm going to go up. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. We're going to try that again. Again, you know, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? All right, so we're going to call it the GVO package. Let's say we call it GVO marketing package. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, it's really up to you how you want to uh, present it. All right, I really don't know why that's happening. All right, we're going to go back. Kind of stumped here, but as you saw, the other one was working, so I apologize for this. We'll see if the third time's a charm. Let's just call it, uh, we'll just call it GVO, keep it simple. No. All right, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to play around with it, but uh, keep it, keep an eye on the uh, other part. Definitely works. Um, I just don't know. It could be an, an, an issue on my end. Um, apologize for that, and we'll just uh, play it by day. But again, it's like I said, it's it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, it does help you, you know, helps basically everything look a lot neater. Um, then, you know, in this case, if you were to put this somewhere else on another website or an ad network, you'd be able to come back and you'd be able to figure out where, uh, you know, what was going on with those clicks, you know, how many clicks you're actually getting. You can get some stats out of them. Um, so, for example, you can see, you know, on what days you got it. You know, you can see where it was going. You can see what the link was, of course, and where it was uh, actually clicked on, like, what computer. So. Um, just to give you an idea, if I, I'll, I'll open up one of the other ones that I have where I have some more information on one of my other blogs, so bear with me here, and we'll see if we can get one of the other ones to work appropriately. Could just be how I have, how I have my blog settings. Alright, so one of my other blogs, thedavidgardner.com, and I'm just going to log in here. We'll see that I have a lot more uh, pretty links on this one. Again, so when you first log in, okay, there it is right there. I'm going to go down to pretty links on the left side, and I have a lot more pretty links in this case, and we'll be able to see some of the other uh, statistics on there. So if you look, here I have a, a whole bunch. Uh, this is the same program, the dot-com secret. So this one I did, the davidgardner.com backslash dot-com squeeze. That was the same one as the other one that I did up here as far as uh, magnetic sponsors. Notice I got 176 hits, 167 of them were unique, so that means someone had looked at it a couple times, but for the most part, right, 39 people looked at it, okay, 39 different sites. Okay, this is one of the other ones. All right, I've done some a lot more than others. Some I just, you know, we're testing, you know, this one right here, 250 people. All right, so it's a good way to check your clicks out. So if we take a look at this, okay, this is for Dagan Smith's Maximum Leverage that I'm uh, going through and I'm a member of. And if we take a look at this, again, just to give you an idea, you can see where your clicks are. You can see where you hit heavy. You know, it's been, I've, I've promoted different stuff at different times. And, you know, so you can see all the different IP addresses of, of where it was coming from. Okay, you can see the date it happened. Okay, what the URL was. And then basically you can see, uh, you know, what the link was. And again, like I said, if you went through and did some more of the advanced stuff, you'd probably get the idea of the refer here. There's got to be some other stuff as far as uh, the advanced settings. So... Again, just trying to keep it simple, letting you know what's gone, going on. I want to show you here uh, that dashboard again. Okay, so if I let's try it here, and we'll, we'll hope for the best here. So we got uh, host and profit. I want to do. Let's see. I want to make sure that I don't have that one on there already. I just don't want to have too many of the same ones. All right, so we're just going to go through, and notice you can tell how many you have displaying one of 10 of, of 17, and I just want to make sure I don't already have that one up there. No use having the same one up there, otherwise it gets too confusing. 
I know I have the overview video by GBO. I just want to make sure that we have the. Yeah, see, there's the overview. There's Meet Cheap, which is their online webinar conference solution. So I do not have one up here. I just have the big video. I don't have the actual host and profit, which is their uh, basically $10 a month package where you can get uh, hosting for up to four websites. You can get autoresponders, you know, up to 500 uh, subscriber list. I'm just going to do one quick check here again, just make sure that I'm not missing it. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing it. All right, so, all right, wish me luck here. Here we go. This is, we're going to change the sentence uh, the fourth time's a charm. All right, so we're going to call this GVO Marketing Package. Make sure you spell it right just so it doesn't look funny. And we'll see if we have permission on this one. Yes, I don't know. It could. This could be. Uh, again, this could be a WordPress issue tonight, or it could be because of one of the upgrades with Pretty Link Lite. So this was not happening again. I don't. I'm not sure why the other one was happening, but um, anyway, look at it. Try to see if we go into one of my old ones. I'll just show you that it's actually that the stuff works, but just so you don't think that I'm an actual fool here, but. Maybe you do. If not, I apologize for wasting your time. But uh, again, it's just I've been using it for a while. You can you know you can look up reviews on it. There, there's never anything that's perfect, especially when you get stuff free. Um, let's see here. Let's look at that old one, and I'll just show you something here um, with the GVO just to verify that it does work. And then it goes to my link. So for example, here's the overview for GVO. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open up this screen. I'm going to control V it. So the davidgardner.com backslash GVO overview. And what we're going to see here up here, I'm going to kind of stop Joel before he starts talking. Actually, they won't notice right here in the um, in the browser there. There's my affiliate link. Okay, Barefoot Painting is my affiliate link. So what happens is sometimes that the the uh, uh, like the, the original one will show up, which which is fine at that point. The person's probably not going to retype it again, uh, unless they're really that desperate. But it's a good way to show and, and to put there if you have affiliate links. If you're going to tell someone that you know, if you're doing a bonus, I guess for an affiliate offer, you want to make sure that they have uh, the ability to see that that was actually your uh, link. If if they purchase through your link, then they'll qualify for whatever bonuses you have. So uh, it's just a good follow up. And you know, and, and then they can verify that, that you're actually at that site. So um, I think if you click on this again, they'd see it as well. Yeah, referred by Dave Gardner. So yeah, it, it just just giving you an idea. Um, if you have any questions on any of the websites, um, I'll have some of the links below. If you have any questions on any of the websites I talked about, uh, send me an email at Dave Gardner at MagneticSponsors.com, and I'd be glad to help you out with anything. So uh, again, that that issue where. Uh, where it wasn't working as far as not being authorized. I'm, I'm kind of stumped by that. I'll have to look that up. But uh, again, have confidence that it works. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier. There's other there's other sites like bit.ly.com and tinyurl, uh, you know, that, that, that do their job. They don't look as ugly and you can, uh, you can kind of customize them too. But uh, the ones that are actually linked, doing this and having it actually linked to your website just seems a lot better, seems a lot, uh, seems to stick out more and pop out more. Uh, and hold more more weight to your website. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, leave any comments or any questions. Uh, email me or leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.